Thirty-two BPI. Let's see how many kicks to the ball Sam gets in this episode of Talking to Myself News, huh? Yeah, you up for that, huh? Yeah? Well, guess what? Let the ball kicking commence. It has begun. No, no, seriously, it has. It has. On second thought, okay. Okay, I'll tell you what. Listen. I'm gonna allow you to keep this a secret between you and me. Okay? Don't tell Sam about this shit. Oh, he already knows? Well. Wait a minute, Judy? Is that you, Judy Garland? Last time I checked, you were dead. No, wait. That's just a video of you on YouTube from 1950. I'll, I'll just... Get to the Democratic jackass was first associated with Democrat Andrew Jackson's 1828 campaign. His opponents fittingly called him a jackass, and Jackson decided to use the image of the strong-willed animal on his campaign posters. Guess who the voters chose? Andrew Jackson. The jackass. The Republican. In a cartoon that was appearing first in a Harper's Weekly magazine strip in 1874, a mere 50 years later, mind you. Well, might as well be. There was a donkey clothed in lion skin, scaring away all the animals in the zoo. One of those Republicans, the elephant, was labeled the Republican vote. And now you know the difference between a Democrat and a Republican. The Democrats are as full of shit. The Republican always be honest with you. Look at your troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. What the fuck is going on here? On behalf of my car teammate, self, I'm sorry. And now for a new segment on Talking to Myself News, something I'd like to call... This is I like that. I mean, not that it matters, but you know. Yeah, like that piano pet emoji series of yours. That didn't go anywhere. Huh? I didn't stutter. Now did I? Seriously. Oh, you need a life. Well... Guys, you're never gonna believe this. Home pain pancakes are tricky. When they're fluffy and light, there's nothing better for breakfast. But when they're bland, lumpy, and stick to the pan, ew. Your short stack of low fly, you've probably been overlooking a simple ingredient that will take your pancakes from zero to what the fuck is this awesome in about three and a half seconds. That secret ingredient 
is bacon grease. Here's how to do it. Heat your skillet. But instead of using oil or butter to go to the pan, add a dab of bacon grease. Then cook your pancakes as you normally would, flipping them when the batter begins to bubble. That's according to a woman named Hannah Lowenthal from the website Purewow. And believe me when I say this, he's actually making a lot of sense here. So much sense, in fact, you might even say that she has actually tried it herself and actually succeeded at it. Remarkably, I should say. Brilliantly. Why'd I butcher the name brilliantly? Yeah. But anyway, here's the deal. This is what you have to do. If you're cooking bacon first, which we strongly suggest, just remove the bacon from the pan, dispose of any excess grease, and keep a dollop in the skillet. Then spoon your pancake batter right on the grease pan, which will result in pancakes that are doughy on the inside, crispy around the edges, and taste like heaven and not hell. Pile them high, drizzle with maple syrup, and enjoy with some scrambled eggs. Thanks, Hannah Lowenfield. Believe this. The most beautiful libraries in the world. According to Condé Nast Travel. Actually, don't go to a library. They're not in modern times anymore. They're not relevant. Neither are schools or colleges of any higher learning. If you want to go to a library, go to Spotify. Go to Bandcamp. Go to Amazon. Go to YouTube. Go to Google. Those are the most beautiful libraries in the world, and you don't even have to leave the comfort of your office chair to visit them. That's how beautiful they are. But beware of those dangerous parts of those sites, at which point if you're not careful, your computer will probably get virus to death. Oh, and by the way, I should also mention Without any doubt in my mind, Wikipedia. Now, Wikipedia gets a lot of flack for being a site where anyone can edit any article in any way imaginable. I know this because I've seen proof of it many, many times. But guess what? Jimmy Wales keeps it all together because he's the man that created Wikipedia. Meanwhile, and you should note, Wikipedia is not an illogical source for information like most of you will claim. No. This site, Wikipedia, is one of the most credible sources of information that you can find out there. Whether or not you want to realize that, now that's up to you. But as far as I can tell, I choose Wikipedia, Google, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and anything else on the internet to get my feel. Not some library or fucking school! And you get what I need. But then again, you do whatever the hell you want with your life. You're the one that makes decisions, not mine. Right? You're the one that makes the choices. I'm just here to motivate you to make the right choice. Not force you to. Anyhow, let's move. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, 
out with you, we had to cut out of a box. Oh, shit. Oh, God, it just is, uh, <laughs> oh, oh my God, what the hell is that? Oh my God, <laughs> oh man, it is, oh, 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 <laughs> oh shit. Type on. Jesus, man. Ah! 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 Oh, what, what, how bad, Follow the way of the Atari Pods. Ha! <laughs> Even Uganda Knuckles knows the Atari Pods are the way. Forget Atari Pods, take the Lawn Brownie Challenge. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that's so. You're better off eating a pile of dog shit than a Atari Pod. You're damn fucking straight. Yeah. <laughs> I am sorry if you had to see that. Or better yet, hell, I'm not sorry because you already knew what was gonna fucking happen. Now did you? Is everyone up for another round of crumbs? Well, you came to the right place, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't stop myself from doing that one. Anyhow. Let's go on to our latest venture in this particular venture of our video. And let's see how many people we can squash. Huh? Lie to me! No, seriously. Go ahead and lie to me, I don't care anymore. What? Activity! I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I do! UFC star Conor McGregor is facing a dozen criminal charges as a consequence of his bizarre and violent behavior during UFC 223 Media Day at the Barclays Center on Thursday. Him and as many as 24 other associates of his unexpectedly gained access to the event, and while there, McGregor supposedly hurled a hand dolly through the window of a bus containing other UFC fighters. Well, that doesn't surprise me any. It doesn't surprise me either. Great. I ain't never heard of him, but I heard he's a pretty tough guy in real life. Yeah, he is. I believe it, man. Well, he has a side. Other objects, including chairs and rails, were also thrown during the run. Holy shit! That's not good! I don't want to be around for that! Me neither, but that's life and we gotta deal with it. At least two other UFC fighters, Michael Chiesa and Ray Borg, apparently suffered significant injuries as a result of the attack, with Chiesa's face being lacerated and Borg suffering an eye injury. 
and they're now going to miss their scheduled fights on Saturday night. Well, no shit. You think it's just another day in the life and stuff, but it's not. White says McGruffer also broke the UFC agreement. White says McGregor also broke the UFC employee's knuckles. Damn. That's pretty legit, isn't it? Oi, you don't say that, Arthur. You don't say. McGregor, a native of Ireland, turned himself in to the New York City Police Department and has been processed at the 76th Precinct in Brooklyn. And he wasn't the only person charged. So, Dan Crowley, or Cowley, I should say, who was his teammate, also faces assault and felony charges. Well, I guess that's the price we pay for being young and dumb, right? Yeah, I remember being young and dumb once, but I learned from it, so there you go. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way, except I'm not. Dumb like most young people. I mean, people eat, they eat Tide Pods for a living. Yeah, you don't say. I know I've had a Tide Pod at least once in my life, and believe me, it didn't taste good. It tasted like shit. Yeah, I know. There remains uncertainty as to why this 29 year old McGregor, reportedly earning a hundred million dollars plus in fights, as well as millions more in dollars from lucrative endorsements from. Burger King and Anheuser Busch would launch an assault on the books. The attack not only jeopardizes McGregor's mixed martial arts and boxing careers, but also could possibly or probably land him behind bars. Well, that was stupid. Yeah, I don't get it, just not I don't care. Why did you kick Sam in the crotch? Because Sam mouthed off at me. And I wouldn't take it lying down. And I'm just being honest, man. Oh, shit. You must be Sam's wife, right? Damn. I hate to do this to you. But it's only for your own good. Oh, shit, man. Can you talk to someone? I didn't know you were Sam's wife. Come on, no, 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 The following is the sentence because it's too confusing to put the words. Our apologies. You do realize I could be shitting gold bricks right now instead of just watching you dick around and shit. Get to the fucking point already! Does this look like the face of a man who gives a shit about that? Are you fucking kidding me? Eh, uh, could be. <laughs> I think we all know what the answer is to that one there. Yeah. <laughs> It was me, sir! I'll drop and give you 50, sir! What is sleep cleaning? I mean, sleep sleeping. I mean, clean sleeping, damn it. <laughs> what is clean sleeping? Seriously, man? Huh? What is that? I mean, it's Koopa food. My clean eating. When sleeping believes that your overall well-being depends on making decisions to help you get the best and healthiest night of sleep. To achieve this, no caffeine after tea, no electronic devices at least an hour before bed, strict bedtime, follow it even through the weekend, keep the room dark and cool, buy a copper pillow. Yeah. That's such a thing. Now, think so. Yeah, I don't get no clean sleep, but we were all caffeine in me. I'm still turning out just fine. So I say I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, me too. But I don't take in any caffeine. Even the desserts that I have are completely sugar free. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to comment on that. But anyway, I'm not even gonna get into it because you already know what this is. You already probably have seen about what this is. You probably went through. You probably went through this entire slideshow, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, help, help. Let me just let me walk you through this shit. Reading before bed is best. 
course it is. No shit. <laughs> yeah. All in the seat at the same time every night is two. Right. Uh, going to bed at a reasonable hour during the week in order to wake up at 7 a.m. every day. It's just. I don't know, man. I don't know. Mercer, would your bedtime interrupts a body clock's ability to regulate heavy sleep patterns? Oh, yeah. I don't doubt that. Well, that thing ain't true. I don't know what the fuck is. Easy for that. Alrighty! Ladies and gentlemen, it is going. No, I'm not gonna do another Cedric impersonation. You know who Cedric is, right? Wrestling Jesus? We all know who this guy is. He's a really, really good, avid wrestling reviewer. I mean, he's been a wrestling fan for over 40 years, I don't think. I don't know how long it's been, so I'm not going to say. But I do know that he's been a wrestling fan for at least 10 years. So I can say that. Anyway, let's get back to the point in here, okay? No alcohol before bed. I don't see the point in paying for a $60 pillow. It's just fucking ridiculous. $60 pillows? Hello? Are you kidding me? Oh, Sleep Cycle app. Of course. Because there's an app for that. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You think? Yeah, I'm not.